I immediately, you know, got on the ground because I didn't know what was going on. And I was, look, you know, looking at my blinds to see what's going on. But. Continuing coverage this evening as one man's account during a standoff in Hoover Sunday afternoon. We now know the name of the man police shot and injured and also one of their own was injured as well. According to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, 31 year old Evan Rashad Lucas of Bessemer was involved, first of all, in a road rage incident. When police located him, they say that then he opened fire on officers and they fired back. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is with us now outside the Hills of Hooper apartment complex. Valerie, first of all, no one was killed in that exchange of gunfire. Pam, the officer was hit in the arm and has already been released from the hospital. The suspect, Evan Lucas, was also hit during the exchange. He is also recovering. Still, neighbors are shaken more than 24 hours after gunfire outside of their homes. Well, you know, I was just um just watching TV and just out the blue, all I heard was gunshots, boom, boom, boom. What Dexter Griffin heard going on outside his apartment, he's reminded of by these bullet holes. I just got on the ground, like I ain't know what, what to do. The situation all unfolding right below him. I was just, you know, scared. Griffin was expecting to spend his Sunday afternoon relaxing and going to the grocery store, but instead he spent three hours on the floor. Yeah. And for those three hours, what runs through your mind and that moment. Hope I don't die. Hope I don't get shot. <laughs> you know, and hope that, you know, they take take care of the situation. It's a situation that could have ended up a lot worse. There is something incredibly inspiring about men and women who are willing to put their own safety aside and run toward the face of danger. And that's exactly what you see when you look across this nation and right here in our own community. Major Clay Hammock is a state trustee and past president with the Alabama State FOP. All of the men and women in this job that wear this badge, uh, they hold a very special place in our heart uh, in the Fraternal Order of Police. As of September 30th, the Fraternal Order of Police reports 252 law enforcement officers shot in the line of duty this year, a 5% increase from last year. Of those, 50 were deadly. Their safety is our priority. Making sure they go home at the end of every shift is what matters most to us. Now, Hammock wasn't able to comment on this specific incident as it's still under investigation. Meanwhile, we're working to learn what charges the suspect will face. Live in Hoover, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.